Hi, hello, and welcome to DMN Games. This channel is all about the hobby of miniature painting. So things like Dungeons and Dragons, miniature board games, paints, techniques, stuff like that all relate to the hobby. So I recently saw a collaboration between Aegis Squidmar and Craftworld Studio. The video in question, Craftworld Studio pretty much painted an elven bust and it was just gorgeous. It was fantastic. And what they used was underpainting. I have never done underpainting and I really wanted to try. I had a miniature that I had already prepared and thought, hey, why not try it out? So I got this bone golem here, all Zenithal highlighted out. I already had worked on the base using cork and some magnets. For my color palette, I didn't really have the colors that Marco from Crawford Studio had in the video. So I just chose some colors that work really well together. Uh, I grabbed violet, stormy blue, blue green, deep sky blue, scarlet, sunset red, and orange fire. So when I first started to paint this, I didn't really have an idea what I wanted to do. So I just started to apply paint. And when I started to apply paint, I realized that was like a lot of blue. So I tried to be a little bit more adventurous and vary my colors. And I was still pretty cautious being new to underpainting. The process was interesting. Uh, I felt a little bit nervous, a little bit apprehensive, because it's very different from what I normally do, which is just a base coat and then adding highlights, um, adding washes and such. So this was a whole new experience. As I got into the groove of it, I just started to, yeah, really just apply paint. In a couple spots, there, there was some gray, but uh, getting new paint, painting over it, having it all nice and fresh. Yeah, it started to look a little bit better. Once I felt I was done, I took some fluorescent inks and I started to place them into the skull's eyes on the bone golem. What I was thinking when I was placing these fluorescent inks was that this miniature would be presented at a table by a DM for the players bringing out a UV light, flashing at the skulls and the light and the eyes glow. And I thought, you know, that'd be really cool. Once I was done, I totally forgot about Marco's application of paint onto the miniature uh, once the underpainting was done. Instead of like carefully placing down colors to unify the miniature into a cohesive theme, I just use some glaze medium with violet and sunset red and apply it to the miniature. This way I could keep the color from the underpainting. From there I started to add a bone white onto the skull, the bones of the miniature and I initially had a very thin layer of it and I just wasn't really happy with the results. A lot of the underpainting showed through and it kind of made the miniature look half finished. So I actually went and applied a little bit more bone white, getting it to be a more opaque color. With that out of the way, I could see that my miniature looked all right, but I think it needed some more shadows to it. So I gloss varnished my bone golem and I applied an oil wash. For the bones, I used a raw umber and for this flesh, I didn't really have a purple. So I just mixed a dark blue and a, and a red together to get a really nice violet oil wash placed on the flesh. With that done, I was able to take some mineral spirits and a makeup sponge and gently dab away at the excess oil. During this whole process, I felt that underpainting was difficult only because I didn't really have the experience for it. But I honestly had a lot of fun 
doing it, just slowly trying to apply color and getting these like really beautiful, vivid hues. I really want to learn more about underpainting and try to improve my underpainting game. Honestly, the video between Age of Squidmar and Crawford Studio is a really good lesson in miniature painting. I highly recommend it if you have a chance to watch it. Link is in the description below. Here is the final product, my bone golem that's magnetized, has fluorescent ink, and a couple other decorations on it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please think about hitting that like, subscribe, and bell notification. Really, once more, thank you for watching.